to the world of Pokemon Generations. What is Pokemon Generations, you may ask? Well, let me show you. You start with this handsome person and a pretty much a bastard Pidgey behind you. Hey, Pidgey. Fuck you. And fuck everything you believe in. Yeah. Bounce off. So, essentially, it's pretty much like a third person, kind of like intra very interactive Pokemon game. Uh, this is very, 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 super, very, very mega, omega, super, omega, bigger, super duper, catch up field, mega build, early build. So, there's not much to it, but the little there is to it gives me the only feels of amazingness that this game could be, or a game that I actually would have wanted in a very younger stage of my, I guess, life. So, what can you do? Well, if you get this game already, if you actually decide to play with your by yourself or with friends you can just uh, press tab and you will be given the original star Pokemon which for you will be a Pikachu Pikachu is pretty cool and he's well, Pikachu so right now nothing out of the ordinary you run and he follows you but the cool thing about this is that when you click on a Pokemon you will start a battle and it's not the uh, attack bag item or anything you actually get to um, Let's see, uh, dive into the battle. Fuck you, Ratata! I'm coming for you! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Here you go! Oh, lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! What is this? What the? What? How do oh! Jesus! Christ! Yeah! Alright, I gotta aim better. He oh. just pretty cool, actually. Yeah! Spamming. And you can actually jump, dodge, and do everything. I think this game will be better, and I think you can play multiplayer, which is kind of fucking cool. <laughs> Get out of here. So it's like, so I feel like I'm playing Smite in a way. <laughs> no! No! So after you destroy this Pokemon through all different matters of attacking, uh, I, I kind of showcase that each Pokemon have like their own set of abilities. Kind of like in the games, like... Right now, you have your one, which is your tackle. You have your two, which is your thunder shock. You have your three. You press three and then you click, and it's your tail whip. And your fourth, which I think it's just a means of getting uh, your your PB attack. It sounds really weird, I know. But without the yellow bar, you cannot do your normal attack. So, four seems like to uh, be a way of either attacking others or whatnot. But after you defeat them, you can either go within just ignore them and let them just kind of die in, in misery or you can be a nice fella press space back or backspace i'm sorry go to it and throw the pokeball at him and um what <laughs> call your pokemon back by pressing the tab of course that's what i meant and then get really close to the pokemon that you just defeated press backspace which will give you this little and then throw the Pokeball at the Pokemon. Alright, somebody needs to start giving me the shit Pokeballs. Like, I can't really make a review of a game or something if... Oh, aim it. Okay. Alright, so I guess I gotta aim it at the body. Are you fucking serious? There's no way I could have missed that. Really. Go. Oh my god! This guy's made out of rocks! There you go. There you go. And the cool thing is, when you actually capture one, you get the animation, though. And... Bing, which is really cool. The only thing, uh, the only problem with this game that I could say, and it's not really a problem, it's just pretty much, uh, kind of work in progress kind of deal, is that this whole area that you have right now, it seems to be the only place that you have so far to, uh, explore and do things. But, uh, I noticed a lot of people enjoy, like, or it seems to be, Something that everybody enjoys to do, uh, playing multiplayer against friends and whatnot. I guess you can make it a ho you can do it through a Hamachi server or something like that. But, uh, let me showcase a little bit of the different Pokemons and what different abilities they have. Ah! Oh, that's embarrassing. Ah! Got him! Come over here, Bulbasaur. Let's check you out. Right now we can see a Majestic Squirtle over there. Bulbasaur, can you take him? Like, you click on the bulb, uh, Squirtle, and he you. Right, there you go. Now I'm in, in full attack mode. And let's see, our first attack is one. We hold one and then do it. That's tackle. Vine Whiff is our two. Growl is three. And 
four is Lichty. Oh, and he hit me. Son of a bitch. I don't know if they have added the whole super effective shenanigans where, like, if a fire type hits a grass type, it'll be super effective. Or if it's a grass type and it hits a water type, it will be super effective. I think it's not implemented just yet. And it just kind of reminds me of a lot of twists, like something like Poker Park, something like Smite, something. It's just fun. And I think this is the kind of game that we always been wanting to have. Can you come over here, Squirtle? Can you stop being such a chicken shit? All right, well, I'm going to buy and whip the shit out of you. You've been a bad boy. Uh. There you go, Lich Seed. Sweet, and I get health back. That is so cool. <laughs> the game shows a lot of potential, and I think if more, if worked more on it and more people were to give it more attention, I can see this game really expanding and becoming something really huge. Not only the fact that you can do it in single player and maybe like involving a story, but imagine having a like multiplayer like this and being able to not only just the fact that your Pokemon is high level or just good, but being able to avoid attacks and outsmarting the enemy and all that other jazz. It seems like a really fun game that could potentially blow up. So again, to any Pokemon lover out there that wants to give it a shot, link in the description to this amazing Pokemon game that is still being on the works. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Live Fox Town, and I'll talk to you guys later. I love Pokemon so fucking much!